Hello everyone, this is Ryan here, and today I'm going to be doing another staff interview, and uh, yeah, so if you'd like to introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Chloe, also known as Yav, and I am a senior moderator as a member of the social media team. Alright, um, that's pretty awesome. Uh, so I haven't had anyone yet who's a member of the social media team. So to start off, <laughs> I guess, uh, when did you get trainee slash mod slash senior mod? So I was first accepted as a trainee on October 28th in 2016, and then I was promoted to mod on January 3rd of 2017, and in on December 1st of 2017 I got senior moderator. All right, that's pretty awesome. Um, and when you when you first got trainee, what, what was the first thing you did? Uh, the first thing I did when I first got the rank in game was I went into Lobby 2 because I was too scared to go into Lobby 1 at first because I wasn't sure how to, I was going to handle things. But after a while of chilling in there, moderating, I worked up the courage and went into Lobby 1. And it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> That's good. Um, so who do you, if, do you remember who your first band was or what it was like? Um, I don't remember what it was for, but I do remember I was scared because I was like, oh my gosh, am I going to like type it in right? Is the reason going to be right? And I was really hesitant about actually banning the person because I didn't want to mess up. But once I did, it turned out to be all good because it was not a false ban. Good for a first ban. <laughs> and yeah. So you said you were on the media t uh, sub team, right? Yes, I'm on the media sub team and um, the social media team for senior moderator. So, do you want to just uh, tell everyone what that's like and kind of what, what what your job is with that? So, for the media team, I um, am a video editor, so I create trailers for like the Mindplex Games channel sometimes, or gifts and videos for our social media platforms, and then on social media. Our job is to keep the platforms active and make sure that the content we're releasing is engaging and high quality. And we also create campaigns for different releases and projects that are coming up, as well as creating like contests and giveaways and fun ways to interact with our followers. That sounds pretty. That sounds pretty like a pretty fun sub team to be on. It's pretty fun. <laughs> um, also, do you do you remember? Uh, when you joined that sub team, did you have to apply or were you uh, asked to join the sub team? Yes. So, for unlike other um, senior moderator teams, um, you aren't required to be on a specific team to join social media. Anyone can apply when the applications are open. But um, I knew I was interested in applying for it since I had been on the media team and the YT council for some time. So, that helped me decide to apply. All right. Um, if you were asked to become an admin, would you do it? Um, that's hard. Admin is um, very time consuming. It definitely would be some like a big honor to be asked. I think I would only do it if I had enough time in my real life to balance admin and stuff. But not now, I would not. But if I had time in the future. And I know you're not an admin, so you probably don't know everything, but could you uh, say, like, if you know what the difference is between admin and senior mod and, like, what, what your job is? Well, as a senior mod, you work together with the other members of your team to keep um, your team running well, and an admin just oversees everything. They make sure everyone's on task. They don't actually really get involved into, like, the nitty-gritty work they just oversee and make sure that the team is running smoothly and that everyone's doing their job. But as a senior mod, you do um, most of the like brainstorming and actual work, at least for social media, that's how it is. Okay. Um, and now I guess for the, my final question, um, if someone wanted to become a staff member, uh, do you have any advice for them? Um, my advice would be in your application, it's it's good to talk about like how you want to help the community and stuff but try not to write it as much as you're like trying to write what they want to hear write something that you think is unique and makes you stand out a little bit and if you get denied don't let that discourage you 
You can always apply again and take that as an opportunity to make your application better the next time because if you're committed enough to it, you will um, be able to get the position eventually. All right, that's a, that's a good answer. So I just want to thank everyone for watching this video and to thank you for agreeing to be interviewed. Um, so yeah, thank, th yeah, thank you very much. And um, I will see everyone again in the next video. Thanks.